So today we will open the box with the African night, uh, night crawler. So when you receive our worms, this is how you receive. Okay, those are four pounds of African night crawler. This they were uh, sended over on um, on Monday, and today it's Wednesday. So they were harvested. Monday late uh, late day so like um, uh, on at, at noon lunch time so they were the last minute or so they were uh, send the uh, shipped on um, Monday afternoon so they had not to stay you know a long of time uh, here and they arrived Wednesday morning so they took like really two days okay so they were sent in uh, two different boxes so those boxes are breathable. You can put in the compost all the box the all the box uh, you can put inside uh, and you can put uh, the, the this here directly inside your compost. So let's go ahead and let's open those boxes. Those are African night crawlers. You can see how big they are. They are amazing. They are well alive. Okay. They arrive in their own environment. Okay. Those creatures are amazing. If you fish, those are perfect for fishing. The African net crawler are great, great, great for uh, composter, are the king of composter. So let's open the second packages. So it's very easy that you will find a bunch of uh, eggs here, cocoon. Because uh, when we send uh, the African night crawler, we don't send all the pit moss, but we send a um, good part of uh, their own bedding. So they have all the bacteria that they need. And they are very, very uh, used, you know? So they don't try to escape and everything. So look, this is the paradise of worms guys let me see if there are some cocoon here so cocoon this one yeah so the african night crawler cocoons they are a little different from the other worms they are more uh, prolonged yeah this is cool there are a bunch of cocoon in here guys so i would put those worms in my second urban worm bag okay so i will prepare the urban worm bag and i will come back to take these worms and move in the urban in the in, in the worm bag okay see you in one sec okay so i decided actually before to move the worms on the urban one bag, I want to rehydrate very well this material. So let me rehydrate everything. Let me move it. That's full of worms. So the thing I want to do too, I want to add some of my bedding because the, 
the African nightcrawler, the European too, but the African more than the European, they prefer carbon food more than uh, nitrogen, like veg. So what I am adding, I'm adding my my bedding that I prepared more than a week ago. Actually, I have always some of this bedding ready, and this bedding is a uh, shredded paper and cardboard, coconut coil my dry food, the, the dry food I prepare and coffee and sometimes can be some like scraps uh, I don't know, like some odd strawberry some odd bananas, something like this what is it, this? a piece of tomato you know so let's mix everything so we do a big mix of everything so we want our worms nice and cozy. Little more water. So the African night crawler, they need uh, a little higher temperature than the rest of the worms. For example, the uh, European anticrawler, they are more resistant to cold water, like the red wigglers too. But um, the African, they want to stay at warm. So let's warm this one. All right, see you in two seconds. I will move everything to the um, urban one back. Okay, so let's move uh, those uh, babies to the urban worm bag. So this is my second urban worm bag. If you don't know what the urban worm bag is, it's a beautiful system, continuous food system, very big with a fair price. It's a breathable. So it's a very nice, it's a, it's a closed system, so you don't have any problem if the worms escape uh, or anything. And you can find this on our website, Urban Worm Bag on our website, okay? www.northeastworms.com So what I do, now I will put the, this on the bottom because uh, I want it to close uh, the the old that there on the down so they have a little time you know and I don't have it directly all the material down on the bottom so that will be pretty pretty fast so in, um, I mean all this system all this worm with all this material they will take um, six months at least so they all have the time to deteriorate so let's put those worms inside the bag okay all. okay so we are ready I mixed uh, the actual the material for the worm arrived with some of my bedding, the bedding I prepared. So I want the worm to stay cozy and the moist in a nice environment. things I want to do. I want to pour some little more water here. Because of the, the space where I put uh, the, the, the bag, it's actually um, some lights. Okay, so when I put this, uh, this uh, the urban one bag is uh, a dark corner 
really closer to the fullness in my basement because of the, how I told earlier, the African night crawl, crawler, they need uh, to stay in a higher temperature. So I put this in uh, closer to the furnace, so the furnace will give a, a nice temperature. I told you when you introduce worms to a new environment, you know what immediately put a food. You want it that the worms they will uh, actually get settled in the new environment. Now I'm going to stop everything. I'm sorry for the noises. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a lot of noises, so I'm topping the old environment with shredded paper. Okay, look at this. I want to put this stuff here. Uh, a very generous hand of shredded paper to keep the moisture level nice. And good. Okay. Okay, so we are done. This is the human worm bag, and uh, those are my night crawler. Okay, guys. So you can find both the worms and uh, everything ready to set up your urban worm bag. So I mean uh, the coco coil and uh, the worms, of course, the bag, of course, everything you need on uh, www northeastworms.com okay anything just uh, shoot me an email thank you